Alright everyone, welcome back to some more 13 Sentinels. So in this part, we're going to focus more on Hijiyama's and Goto's storyline. So be all continue enjoy watching, and let's keep it rolling. Alright everyone, we're following up on the Hijiyama storyline. Alright. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there, before my homeland lost everything... If I'd fought in the Sentinel, maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless in the end. All I can do is rely on him. I... Alright, so our goal is to find him again. Go. Now, where is Okino? He's never around when you need him, that's for certain. I have a feeling it's gonna be like a, a lot of go arounds just to find him. Can I run? Yeah, I can. Oh, it's Goto. Hold it right there. <laughs> can I help you? You certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? I've never <sighs> seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I was gonna say the mind your own business school, man. I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. Ah. No, I'm gonna... Not feeling great? that obvious? What happened? I looked at the wrong textbook. I was studying for the wrong subject the whole night. That happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. Oh, look at you. Oh, that's... A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Oh, wait. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. Please wait. Uh, really, it's all a misunderstanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. The way he falls over, I keep thinking he's about he collapsed or something, but that's not the case. No, there wouldn't be any around here. Press the wrong button. Alright. I have a feeling I'm gonna to need to buy more Nakisoba. Huh. That's Really? What exactly are you doing? <sighs> well, I was about to pick up a coin. Uh, you know it's such a problem. What's got you all nervous? I just don't want to... Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? Ah, uh, it's uh, talk to you. Can you follow me inside now. here? Uh, I'm just a big fan, you know? Back to front? Oh, Hold it right, right. there. That show with the pop stars. Gotcha, senpai! What? Uh, something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but... I'm sorry. I remembered something I have to do. Ah, uh hi. -huh, you're scared oh. of her. Hey, son. Huh. All the better. Pick up my change. A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Appreciate it. I like how quick she went to follow him, too.
I have 200 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Hey, look how happy he is, too. Let's eat it. Sorry for making you wait, yakisoba pond, but it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. 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 Delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's yakisoba pond. So I keep telling you, like I keep thinking he like collapses from something terrible, but it's just an over exaggeration on his part. Alright. Wanna get going? Yeah, but I wanna hear more tomorrow. I keep thinking they have something important to say. They don't. Hmm. Right, I'll show the break area again. So I'll see you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. Found them. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? <sighs> How much was that? That's it. Anything else here? All right. I shouldn't right now. After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. No point just sitting around waiting for him. We'll have to kill time for a while. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. He ate it again. Get myself some soda. Oh my god, all these dusty soba. Something's going on with him. I can tell. There's us some High King milk coffee. That you drink it with a feels straw. like he's hiding something. And then we'll mix it up with some hay seed. Sokino planning with that girl. Delicious. He bought himself three yakisoba. Let's go. Delicious. You'll never go hungry again. Delicious. Is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. I'll wait here and confront them when they return. 
Ogata. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh... Oh. You don't know either? <clears throat> Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. I like how they're just like hiding in the bushes and they're still arguing over like, you know, their nonsensical stuff. God damn it. I'm sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home, but I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, uh, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little... jealous? That's totally it, right? Please. Who get jealous over you? Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous! I was just... I was just... worried about you. That's all. Mm. Uh, I you want to know how to place, save everyone. Right? Well, if well, there's the a way, were all broken then tell anyway. me. Please. Please. Heck, if I understand. Something happened to you. I'm doing my Moron. best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but it could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Okino, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home, please? Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. I like how they were both having a conversation at the same time, so it was kind of hard to follow you know, which one you want to listen to the most. But I guess that's what makes this game so unique. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. What is this? I told you about this before. We're inside the buried UFO. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. 
The saucer? Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. So this was built by humans from the future? Or extraterrestrials, potentially. Daimos. So this is what the Daimos had been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5. Which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional, and that's the one in 1985. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. Forty-year gaps, going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list, which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos' Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. Wow, that's unpleasant, but considering a majority of the 13 are also uh, the possible candidates for leading them all, because every storyline we've had so far with these characters, it's always one of them leading the, the Kaiju over here. So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but it's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but that's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function, nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos, and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO, Universal Control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1, the automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that though, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> but yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Alright, we made it through 85% of this guy's story, and we finally unlocked Renyagoto. Oh, great. Now we gotta. We can't complete his story unless we unlock. Oh? This dude. Alright. We'll do Renyagoto then. Hmm. Since we're like, what, 14% through him? I'm 
would appear, I can no longer rely on Shikishima. Miss Murimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project. As if I'm just a child. I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions going forward. Miss Morimura, why did you have to die? Alright, so now we're finally off as Goto again. I have nowhere where to go. Okay, I guess the only way is left. Can't even run. Ayame Park, please. Alright, let me check him out. Since we just started as him, we don't have many branching paths yet. I think once we make it to like over 20% of the storyline, maybe. That was pretty quick, Goto-kun. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about your death. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. So, what did the police say? The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time. Beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short-haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. They found a witness. This era's police really did their due diligence. An acquaintance of Miss Morimura, described as a short-haired male in a student uniform. Most likely A. Sekigahara. I was just gonna say that I was Sekigahara with her. Because this little one over here... There should have been that drone tracking her movement. So, anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. Any thoughts as to our primary suspect? The witness statement matches the description of A. Sekigahara. It did seem like something was wrong with A. Sekigahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he'd bother to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. This little girl. Well, I wouldn't call her little, but this woman here. Very smart, very manipulative. Who else could it be? You. That man with that... call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking, he would naturally be another potential suspect. It's definitely not 426. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatibles. He's a dangerous individual. And he's still at large. All that's left of 426 is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. 426 certainly isn't above killing. If Ida-san were here, I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. If he resurrected himself as an android, maybe that would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear-cut. Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426, would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? That? 
doesn't make sense. According to number 18, or should I say, to Mao-san. I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings, and my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Yeah, I already knew in another parallel world, parallel universe, or what have you, it was Fusaka and uh, Juro that liked each other. Otokun, I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morison. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Juro Kun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juro-kun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, I've been giving her some advice about it, and I understand where she's coming from, but... Uh, Mori Morrison is in love with him. <sighs> with 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but that's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. <sighs> Watch over Mori Morison. And try to keep her away from Juro-kun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one four two six, let alone two. It's crazy how we learned that all this time Morimura had a thing for Juro, and there was something going on between them in the other timelines, and now she's trying to bring him back through this timeline via false, not false memories, but the new. Uh, what do you call? I guess the present universe, Juro? So I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san, four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all in one fell swoop. According to Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened, and Miss Morimura should be aware of that. When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. That Chihiro Morimura was mind-hacked, remember? You said so yourself. See, look at that. Look at that. Manipulator. I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Miss Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. Hold on, there's a lot to recall. Hold on. I right. spoke with the pilot. Back then, she- The truth. Wait, what do you mean? Could you go over that again? Uh... Our defensive maneuvers failed. So we decided to stick to the plan. We all headed to the gate to escape. But there was an explosion while we were shifting. <sighs> From what I can tell, the Type 98 we were shifting in got attacked. But that's the last thing I remember. After that, nothing. But that means, is that how your data was damaged? It wasn't some plot by 426 after all? Just... an explosion? 
We never did manage to completely reconstruct your data. I thought it was just that you didn't get converted in time, but... You were... You were all dead before the shift even happened. Itakun, you said he killed the four of them. I know you did. You said he sabotaged them, killed them. Given the chance, he certainly would have. You lied to me? He already tried to kill us all in the past. You know he'd have tried again if we left him alive. Killing him was the right call. No. That means... I... Ah, so once again, Ida lies. Screws up a lot of things. I'd like to revisit something you just mentioned, about 426 killing at least four individuals. Do you really not remember? Remember what? You've read my files, I presume? I gathered quite a lot of material in the past. Most of it is rather outdated, including Ida-san's statement concerning those victims. In other words, your answer is objectively incorrect. Really? Well, can you blame me? Look at this body I'm stuck with. I'm bound to have some memories confused. If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind-hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. What log? If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born, Ida-san extracted some information from 426 that, in turn, led to the discovery of the data log in question. As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. <sighs> you seem very disturbed by me seeing that file, so much so, in fact, that you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426, or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone. Oh my gosh. Another, uh, subversion? 426 was the one who overwrote my memories? So what does that mean? What are you trying to say? Your Morimura and I are both 426? This is Tetsuya Ida. Don't know why I'm recording this. Nobody's going to hear it. Still, might as well. Not like I have anywhere else to share this. I was in the middle of a routine bug regression test, and I noticed part of the final phase had been altered. The change was made in Chihiro Morimura's host. The setting change looks like it'll trigger a memory overwrite. I don't know anything about the memory's contents, but it says the modifying user was Juro Izumi. Because someone thought it'd be a great idea to give that guy senior admin ID. And at this point, well, what the hell can we do about it? At least now I have proof. You're all hypocrites anyway. Yes, including you, jackass. So who even cares anymore? None of this matters. We're all dead anyway. <sighs> the log inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from, so you deleted it. That's my theory anyway. Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment. The one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura, then who exactly do you think I am? You are Chihiro Morimura. Well, there you have it. No, not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The one from the year 2188 and the central figure of Shikishima's interstellar development project.
see now. That was interesting. The murder of Chihiro Morimura. So, with this character, we get to play a little bit of a detective. And that was cool because we were getting a lot of information and a lot of callbacks or flashbacks for that matter to see what was really going on. So that in itself was cool. Alright, this seems like a good stopping point for now guys. I'm going to end it here for now. Thank you for watching. Until the next one.